Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you this week and spend some time in God's Word and prayer with you. This week, I'm going to remind us of a simple truth that we see in both the Old and the New Testament about declaring or speaking God's Word. Now, we're going to only be looking at certain passages, uh, whereas you know, there are many, many passages that teach us about the importance of speaking the Word, declaring the Word. And uh, I refer to a free book from uh, APC that's called Speak Your Faith, where we consider many of these scriptures. But this week is just a reminder about the importance of speaking God's Word. I want to begin this week by looking at what God, how God worked in the life of Abraham and Sarah. That after God called them and he, he declared His promise over them, He said, you know, I'm going to make you the father of a multitude. You're going to, uh, you know, you're going to have this big nation come out of you. Time had elapsed and, and uh, in Genesis 17, verses 4 and 5, verses 15 and 16, God comes to Abraham and He specifically tells him, He says, my covenant is with you, and you will be a father of many nations. No longer shall your name be called Abraham, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. As similarly, he says about Sarai in verse 15, As for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name, and I will bless her and give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations, kings of people shall be from her. It's very interesting that God would do something like this. Uh, God is very intentional. This is not a mistake. This is not, you know, an accident, but very intentional. God is basically, in a sense, if you look at it, God is saying, Abraham, I want you to start calling yourself according to what I said you would be, or according to my promise. Call yourself as a father of a multitude. Call your wife as a mother of princess, of many great people coming out of her. So. That is what, that's a very important principle. Now, the Apostle Paul looks back at this in Romans chapter 4, verse 17, and he says, look, even God taught Abraham to call things that are not as though they were. That means they didn't exist. Abraham and Sarah didn't have a son yet. They were not the father of any, anybody yet, but they're calling themselves as parents of a great multitude, of a great nation. They're calling things that don't exist as though they were because God had spoken. So that's an important principle. Now God is teaching us to do that. This is not lying. This is speaking according to God's word. While we don't deny the reality of the experience we're going through or the circumstances we're facing or the challenges we're facing, we are choosing to say, God has said something which uh, may not be there yet in my life, but I'm going to speak according to that. That's the challenge for you and me. That's what God wants us to do. Call ourselves according to His promises. Call ourselves according to His word. In sickness, call yourself healed. In battles, call yourself victorious. Uh, in challenges, call yourself an overcomer. In, 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 in difficulties, call yourself a blessed person because that's what God has said in His word about you. Declare the word. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you'll give us the strength to keep our eyes focused on your holy word and to say what your word says about ourselves, about our present and about our future. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.